Excuse me, bud. Buongiorno. Oh, good stuff. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh. All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Thanks. See you again soon.
Hello. Some damned heathen had the impudence to assault a lady on her way into the parlor. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. So long. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. All right, here. Morning. Morning, Mister.
Where's this shine? Who we got here? Get you home. man wonderful <laughs> you got my money <laughs> it's it's for a very good cause uh, my name is professor andrew bell the third perhaps you've heard of me <laughs> can't say that i have oh i'm an inventor uh, maybe you've read about me <laughs> uh, i don't read much oh oh well that's too bad oh yes <laughs> you got my money <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great deal. All deed. I've done is get some creep a lot of drinks. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? 
Well, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful! Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Welcome to our humble police well, house. I see you didn't get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate or humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. You itching for trouble or what? Hello, 
friend. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. this all. You see this one here? <laughs> Hello, mister. What did you I don't do? want to be downwind of him. I ain't going around you. Saludos. See you again, sir. Hope you have a good trip. I'm here for Wilson McDaniels. Don't want anyone else. We ain't got time for
No animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying. And killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in the hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in the hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said, He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You mean? No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. But as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. They wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No. Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was light. Electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey. This electricity professor. That's the fellow that took our moonshine. I believe you, you son of a bitch. We're losing too much ground. I'm sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> Uh-huh, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs>
professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, what do you know? I got him. You're wonderful. Come on. Wonderful. <sighs> Don't be shy now. Let's go. <clears throat> Uh, put him down just there. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, well, one stay by my humane electric ending facilitator, uh, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Yeah, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Come on now, boy. Seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. 